Bitcoin prices have been going absolutely nuts and really not even Bitcoin. The entire cryptocurrency market has been going completely nuts over the past couple of months. And a lot of people are trying to buy in, but the process of buying Bitcoin and especially the altcoins is not that intuitive. It's really difficult. And um, I thought I'd make a video on how to show you how to buy it and get it all set up uh, as fast as possible with the least amount of headaches because it took me forever to buy it. And I figured that I'd save you some time. So what we're going to be using to buy Bitcoin is the Gemini exchange. It's a New York based exchange. And this is only going to apply to people living in the U S every country is different. So I don't think anyone outside the U S can use Gemini, but for example, if you're in Japan, you use Kraken. If you're in the European union, you'll use something like, uh, I think it's hit BTC or something. They're, they're, they're different for every country because there's restrictions. But, um, if you're in the U S use Gemini and then to buy the altcoins, we're going to be using Bittrex. And I'm just going to walk you through. My goal is just to get you to buy Bitcoin. If you want to keep Bitcoin, just keep it in Gemini. And if you want to buy any altcoins on the Bittrex market, I'll show you how to do that as well. So to get started, just go to Gemini.com then click register, put in your name, email, password. I'm assuming that you know how to you know sign up to a website and verify your email. So just go ahead and do that. Um, after you've done that, go and take that login link that they'll email you and log into your account. And you should have to set up a two-factor authentication code as well. Use the Authy app for that. After you're in, for the first time you log in, or really, I mean, even after you do it, but you're going to see this tag up at the top that says, like, verify your identity or something along those lines. Click that link, follow the instructions. All you have to do is put in your personal information. I think they need your social security number because this is legit. This is like a regulated, legitimate exchange. And they need it for tax reasons. And then a picture of the front and back of your driver's license, and that's it. After you submit that information, it takes three to five days because they have to manually review every application. Um, after that's done, you'll get an email. Then just log back into your Gemini. And in order to transfer funds in the exchange, we're going to be doing a wire transfer. Bank transfers are completely useless. There's only there's a $500 a day limit, which is nothing. And they take five business days, which is realistically, if you send one today on Monday, it's the 26th. It's not going to get there till the next Monday. And that's just too long to wait because this, I mean, if you want to buy now, you want to be able to buy it now. So what, in order to send a wire, we're going to go to bank settings and then you're going to add your bank. I'm assuming you have a, like a corporate large bank, like Bank of America, Wells Fargo. If you do, they make the process really easy. Just go click on it. I think you log into your banking website and it automatically hooks it up like through their API. But if you have a weird local credit union or something like that, just go to the very bottom. Do not see your bank on this list. Click that, click continue, add bank via wire, fill out your information, the amount you're going to deposit, and then they'll give you wire instructions. And all you have to do is either print it out, or take a picture with your phone, take that, that in, uh, sheet of instructions to your bank and just say you want to send a wire to an exchange and they'll do everything for you. And what's really cool is Gemini even um, reimburses you for your wire fees because if you're sending, you know, like I did, I didn't know how much I wanted to put in to the altcoin that I wanted to buy, which is Stratus. I ended up putting like 10 different wires in of different amounts. And, I, and you know, you pay three, 400 bucks in wire fees. It's better to just figure out how much you want to put in, let's say 10 grand, and deposit it all in one thing so you avoid these fees because they do add up. So after that, go ahead and uh, just hit next, get that information, show it to your bank. Wire that in and after the wire hits, um, it'll take no less or sorry, no more than a couple hours if you send it before the cutoff. And if you're savvy with how banking stuff works, um, wires get sent out before two o'clock. So if you go into your bank at, let's say, I just suggest going first thing in the morning when they open at nine, they'll send it in and you should have your funds in Gemini completely ready to go by like two o'clock. That's why wires are great because it's the same day. So after you have your money in, this is how we're going to buy the Bitcoin. Just go to buy. BTC, USD, and this is the entire exchange. This is really it. Um, you can see the entire market liquidity from this chart here. It'll show you how much Bitcoin is for sale at what price and how much is willing to be bought at what price. And in order to buy it, if, if this depends on your strategy. If you want to say, let's say Bitcoin's at 2387 when I'm making this video. If you want to buy Bitcoin and you're not willing to pay more than 2300 bucks, just go in put a limit order in for 2300. This means that it will not buy Bitcoin unless you can get it for 2300 or lower. Then you put in your total amount, let's say 10,000. And there is a the 0.25% fee, which gets added on top of the amount. So let's say you only have 10,000 in your account, do something like 99.50. 
and that'll be able to process it for you. Um, that's what, that's the approach you should take if you aren't willing to pay the current market price. But if you don't really care about a couple percent and you just want to buy Bitcoin now, market order. So do order type market and then put in your total amount, hit buy, and the order will process immediately and you'll have it in your account. So after you hit buy, your funds will be gone or whatever you paid out will be subtracted from U.S. balance and your Bitcoin will be right here. So if you wanted to buy Bitcoin, you're pretty much done. Um, I know this video has only been going for like five minutes and that seems like it's a simple process, but this will take like a week or two because that um, ID verification takes a long time just because they're so backed up with so many people trying to get in. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to buy Bitcoin, you're pretty much done. You're pretty safe keeping your Bitcoin in Gemini. Um, if you don't have, you know, if you have a really large amount, I would suggest getting what's called a Ledger, Ledger Nano S. So just Google it. They're kind of backed up right now, so you can even use a Trezor, uh, Trezor Bitcoin wallet. I'll put a link in the description or whatever on the for the video. Just buy this little ninety-nine dollar thing, and uh, that'll keep your Bitcoin safe and off the exchange. Because there was in twenty thirteen, one of the exchanges got hacked, and a bunch of Bitcoin got wiped out. So if you want to avoid that, then get a hardware wallet. Um, but if not, I mean, you can just keep the Bitcoin in Gemini. It's not that big of a deal. So that's it. If you want to buy Bitcoin, you're done. If you want to buy an alternative coin like Stratus, um, Waves, Ripple, uh, Ethereum, you can actually buy Ethereum on Gemini. But if you want to buy one of the smaller market cap ones that are harder to get, I'll show you how to do that now. Go to Bittrex.com and I'm going to log out so I can show you the process. You'll get a site like this. It's Bittrex. I'll put a link down below. Um, go to login and then sign up. Sign up for an account. Um, again, it's pretty basic. They'll send you an email, email verification, blah, blah, blah. Then after that, go ahead and log into your account and you'll have to set up two-factor authentication. Let's go back, Bittrex. And there is an identity, identity verification for this, but it's instant. So you, it's like an automatic program that scans your license so you can withdraw things. And I think you can even just do, if you're doing smaller amounts, you can just like verify your phone and that's fine. But in short, Bittrex is a digital currency only exchange, so you can't deposit. This is why we have Gemini. So if Bittrex accepted, you know, wires or we could wire money into Bittrex, we wouldn't be having to use Gemini, but you can only deposit Bitcoin and digital currencies into Bittrex to then trade it on the exchange. So what we're going to do is go into our Gemini. So let's say we just bought $10,000 worth of Bitcoin, which is like four Bitcoins or whatever. Go to transfer funds, withdraw from the exchange, BTC. And then we're going to go and this is where we're going to be withdrawing the Bitcoin from our Bittrex account and transferring it, or sorry, withdrawing the Bitcoin from our Gemini account and transferring it into Bittrex. So in order to do this, we're going to go to our wallets, search Bitcoin, find, make sure it is Bitcoin. Cause I mean, if you accidentally click one of these other coins and hit the plus and use that address, you're, well, it'll, actually it'll still work because it'll go into your account and you can trade it, but it won't go into your Bitcoin wallet in Bittrex. So make sure it's on Bitcoin, click the plus sign. So plus is and you're adding it to Bittrex to deposit. Copy this address. And if it's your first time, you might have to generate a new address. Just generate an address and then copy it. Copy it over. So we're going to be sending our Bitcoin from our Gemini account to our Bittrex account, which is this address. Put in the amount of Bitcoin that you want to withdraw with view, review withdrawal. And then after about 10 minutes, actually, sorry, review withdrawal and then it'll process. You hit like another confirmation. After about 10 minutes, you'll see a pending deposit in Bittrex of the amount that you just deposited. And it'll sit in pending for, depending on the Bitcoin network and um, how congested it is, it'll sit there for like an hour to maybe an hour and a half, and then it'll become available. So now you have your, bit, or your Bitcoin is in Bittrex, ready to be traded for an altcoin. So the altcoin that I personally hold is Stratus. I'll show you how to do this for Stratus, but it works. I mean, the platform is the same problem. So you click on the, the ticker symbol in Bittrex. And if you want to, let's say you have an obscure one, like you wanted to do, sorry. Let's say you wanted to buy Blitz Cash, which is a super low volume coin. Just search in the ticker symbol here. You can do it. So you go, and this, again, this is the same for all of them. Go down here, and let's say you have four Bitcoin available check the asks and it depends on how liquid the market is on Bittrex for that particular coin. I'll pick a more liquid one that has more volume. So it'll be easier to do. Let's say Stratus. 
And if you want to buy four Bitcoin worth of Stratus, um, it's similar to Gemini where there's, li there's basically limit orders and market orders. So you can either pick off, um, this is called the ask table. So you can find if you want to buy four Bitcoin worth, just click over to see where the sum is greater than or equal to four. Click this little arrow and then you can buy it and that'll pick all of the current limit orders on the, on the ask side off and you'll buy from there. But if you want to say buy it at a particular price, like let's say you want to buy it at 0 0.0023 Bitcoin, do that, put in four BTC, and that'll get you 1734 stratus. So after that, just hit buy, and then it'll eventually fill if it gets down to that price, which it may not, nobody knows. And after that, you'll have the stratus or whatever altcoin you want to buy in your Bittrex wallet, and you're done. Again, there's, you know, keeping your cryptocurrency and exchanges is kind of questionable. You shouldn't keep it in there forever. You should eventually move it to a hardware wallet, or let's say with Stratus, you can download a, a, the staking wallet or whatever from their website. It depends on the coin that you use, but just get a hardware or offline wallet um, for that coin and then transfer it from Bittrex into there. And it's the same process. So if you're gonna transfer it out of Bittrex, just go to, say I have Stratus, just go to the minus sign minus, put in the address you want to send it to, the quantity, and then you can withdraw it from there. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave a comment or send me an email, whatever, and I can help you out. Uh, thanks.